is on question 16. It's also another um, stack equilibrium problem. Um, so we've got a 60 centimeter uniform 50 newton shelf. So we're given the weight of the shelf rather than its mass. So it's about 5 kgs. And it's attached to a sloping ceiling by these two vertical wires. Um, the shelf is in stack equilibrium. So sorry, your code here for that type of problem. Very small 25 newton tool is placed on a shelf and midway between the points where the wires are attached to it. So it's halfway between these two wires. You find the tension in the rightmost wire. So in some in the case in the sense that you know the two upward tensions would be equal to the weight force down plus this normal force down. And the thing about the net force on the shelf is zero, but since we'd have two unknowns, we wouldn't be able to solve it purely from a force analysis. And so we have to sort of apply a more torque analysis to solve this problem. So I'll go ahead and I will draw sort of a simplified again diagram for the um, for the shelf. Maybe I'll just make it here six centimeters on my ruler so we can sort of make like a scaled uh, version of the uh, diagram. So I know the weight force will act right in the middle. So 30. We know the the rightmost wire is 20 from the end. And then there's another uh, tension here. And then the tool is placed halfway between these two wires. So if this is 20 centimeters here, there's 40 centimeters between uh, the two wires to give it to make up the 60 centimeters. And this tool is acting halfway. So this would be um, also 20 centimeters from 20 centimeters from uh, both wires. And so that's where our tool is. So what we have here right in the middle is a weight force down. And the tool will exert a downward normal force. And I don't uh, slightly smaller so I'm going to draw this exactly the scale. This is the normal force by the tool. And then we have an upward tension force. Um, tension force um, uh, right for the right wire and then over here there is a tension force for the left wire. But we don't know the size of those tensions. Uh, we do know the size of the normal, we do know the size of the weight, and we don't know the two tensions. So the two upper tensions, as I said earlier in the video, will be equal to the sum of the, these two downward forces, but that's still two unknowns in one equation. So I'm going to apply a torque analysis. So since I want to find the tension in the rightmost wire, I'm going to set the pivot at the leftmost wire. Because that allows me to ignore, not ignore, but in a sense the the, t the torque applied by the tension in the leftmost wire at the pivot point is zero, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't come into the torque analysis, which allows me not to think about it. That's when I say I ignore. So about this pivot point, there are two clockwise torques uh, from the weight force and the normal force by the tool, and then the tension in the rightmost wire, clockwise the counterclockwise torque exerted by that force would need would balance these two clockwise torques. So I would set up in the sense that the magnitude of the torque for the tension right is equal to the magnitude of the torque by the um, tool force and the plus this is a plus here the torque due to the weight. So again what I'm setting up here is making my counterclockwise torques equal to my clockwise torques. And then I'm not going to worry about the negative uh, torques due to the uh, normal weight and the positive torque is setting the magnitudes of the counterclockwise and the magnitudes of the clockwise such that the total sum and the net torque is equal to zero. So T net sorry, time net is equal to zero. So what is the size of this um, uh, tension or torque due to the tension? So um, this would be equal to the tension times its distance. So you can keep the distances either in centimeters or in and meters because there's going to be a, a division. Um, so, uh, um, a 
at the end. And but if you want to do a technical correct, you should you know, give everyone correct units. We would be using uh, meters. So the, the tension right is 20 centimeters from the right end. It's a 60 centimeter uniform rod. So this is uh, 40 centimeters from the where I put my pivot point. So this 0.4 meters is equal to the the normal. Um, here will be equivalent to the tool's weight. And it's a 25 newton tool. So, or, yeah, 25 newtons, and it is going to be again. It's also 0.2 from the pivot point here. So, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, or 20, 20, and 20 gives us a you know, 60 centimeter rod plus uh, the weight, which is 50 newtons times uh, times its distance, which would be 0.3 from the pivot. tension so this leaves you here with um, yeah, 5 newton meters plus um, 15 newton meters all divided by 0.4 meters so that's 20 newton meters divided by 0.4 meters that should give you uh, 50 in the uh, rightmost wire. Um, so that gives you a choice, and C is the correct answer.